Hey guys, up San Andrew, and today I have something for you guys that you might not have seen on my channel for a long time, but I'm very excited to show it. I went PKing over the last few days, and I had quite a lot of success. Here's the gear that I'm using, uh, very good gear for a main. Um, I don't always use D-Boots, sometimes I use Rune, but you see they're very good slash bonus and strength bonus with the Defender, the Skim, uh, Fighter Hat, Fighter Torso, Fire Cape, Borrows, Clubs, I always like to risk. And um, I really had a lot of success PKing. I went pretty positive in terms of my KD ratio. I did have a couple deaths. Um, this guy was actually a fan who fought me. Um, wasn't in the clinch or anything, but um, I figured I'd throw the beginning of this fight in here just to talk about it a bit. Uh, one thing I'll talk about a little bit is my inventory. So my inventory is a little strange compared to most people. Um, in this clip, I don't actually have it, but um, generally what I like to do is to have a option. Basically, I have a lot of options to keep myself alive, and that's really my goal when I PK. Um, I usually bring summer pies, which you saw in the picture, and you'll see in the rest of this clip, um, I, these clips. I forgot to have them in this clip, but basically, summer pies are really useful because they heal 12 HP, and there's two. you can eat two of them um, in one pie. And basically, that's really useful because sometimes there are situations where it's not really appropriate to eat a tuna potato because, you know, that's 22 HP. Uh, you'll kind of be called a safer, and I don't really want to kind of be cheap like that. So, like, if I'm at, like, 62 HP or something, I will just go and eat the summer pie, and then I'll be, like, mid-70s HP. And then it'll be pretty tough for the AJs to KO me. Another thing, of course, is the tuna potato to Karambuan, also works with sharks. Um, that heals about 40 HP in, like, one game tick, so that's very useful. And there's also another strategy I've been using called, um, basically, you can do tuna potato to Saradome and Brew to Karambuan all in one game tick, which is probably around, like, let's see, maybe 55 HP or something healed in one game tick. So there really is a lot of good ways to survive when PKing. And um, a kind of more defensive kind of play style that I have in terms of PKing, it really helps. The other thing I'm really trying to get good at with PKing, and I think over these clips I get even better at it, is um, using the AGS at the right times, basically. Uh, mo mostly the specs, but also the AGS wax, they can come in handy as well. Um, Two things I've really learned since coming back to PKing. If you guys don't know, I used to PK a lot pre-EOC. I used to do... Here's a very good Vengeance timing, by the way. Um, that took out this guy. Thanks for watching the videos, though. Um, vengeance, or rather... Um, basically, using your spec specs at the right time is really crucial, in my opinion. There are two ways to really hide it. One is by using a potion. This fight was about two seconds, by the way. So um, don't, uh, don't go away for this fight. Like, basically, if you use the spec at the right time the person won't have enough time to eat. So usually the way to do that is to drink a potion at the right time, like a prayer potion, to and then switch to your spec weapon, like I do here. I drink the potion, and then the AGS comes out of nowhere, and boom, he's dead. If I had to switch to the AGS normally, he would have had a little bit more time to react. Another thing is not always switching to the AGS right away. Um, if you see the XP drop for the Dragon Skim, it might be useful sometimes to, you know, hide the AGS for just a, a second or two, and then um, go for the spec, maybe right as the hit is going to happen. So you're not losing any game ticks with your hits, but um, if you do like you might do with PVM where you just switch to the AGS right away, they can sometimes see you when um, they might have otherwise not had time to eat. So there's some pretty good KOs here, um, and I saved the best KOs for last, so don't you guys worry. And you really can PK a lot a lot just doing rune fights. I was risking about 500k, and I did price check one of the, in one of these clips, and their, the PKs are about 500k as well. Uh, so you can make a lot of money just getting a handful of kills in one hour. Here's a good AGS whack KO. That's one thing I really like about the AGS for PKing, is that um, even when your specs are gone, you still have a decent shot at a KO. Uh, the God Sword Strength bonus is 132, I think, which is very high, and you can get a little good like whack KOs just with it, uh, with proper timing. So I saved the best two clips for last. These were some amazing KOs. Um, you'll see here that I have a summer pie going really soon. See, I'm 60 HP, and that brings me to 71. Really useful because it might have made the difference between that spec killing me and me surviving. It hit a zero, so it didn't matter anyway. But there you go, switch to the AGS very late there, and boom, 71, he's freaking dead. Isn't that amazing that the AGS can hit that in this gear as well? It's not like I'm in Bandos or something. I'm just in untradables gear. I really love the update, by the way, where you keep your untradables in your inventory on death, and then you could just repair them right away. It just really just makes it fun for PKing, as well as having the uh, spec pool as well, or really just the ornate pool for getting everything back. And look at that price check, 622k. Really some pretty good money from PKing, um, as long as you're not dying very often. This is my favorite clip of them all. Look how good I hit here. Drink the potion, hide the spec, boom, out of nowhere, 73, he's motherfucking dead. Oh my god, and look at that, he said no way. I might have been the same guy too, I haven't checked the clips for that. 
but um, also very nice. You can change the attack options. You don't have to worry about hitting anyone else when you're looting. And yeah, really pretty good money for PKing. Something I'll definitely be doing more in the future. Um, I did have some deaths as well. I died probably around um, three times maybe or so in getting all these clips, which is pretty good. Um, still a lot of profit. Generally, most of the times I died was um, with rune boots fights and not uh, dragons. So I definitely made a decent amount of money and had a ton of fun and I will be PKing more in the future. So I got a lot of clips at Saradomen recently. I was going to put them in this video, but um, it would just be far too long because there's too much to show you guys. But I do want to give you guys an update on skilling. It's been going very well. I got 90 farming, which you'll see in this clip. And my total level is currently 1944, which is just insane because not too long ago, I just got 1900 total. So really uh, making a lot of progress. I did, um, this clip isn't fully accurate to my stats you see here. This was actually just a couple days ago. Um, I got 75 to 85 Herblore, and I got 93 crafting from, I started at 75. I did 91 and 93 in a day. This was the day I did it. Um, and really just making a ton of progress on the skills. Uh, here's 90 farming coming up, and yeah, so definitely a lot of 99s coming up soon. Um, I'll probably do the Corp Mess when I get 99 crafting, or around that time, you know, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit, you know, a couple days later. I'm thinking maybe a Saturday at like 4 p.m. EST. Let me know what you guys think about that time. Otherwise, yeah, I definitely expect more videos soon. Um, like this if you enjoyed it really helps out really appreciate it let me know if you like the pkn content definitely um could do more of that on top of all the pvm i always like to do um subscribe if you haven't already of course and also feel free to click the little bell next to the sub button if you guys want to get notifications when i upload a new video uh, also join the clan chat andrew ajt62 i'll put that up on screen and um, feel free to join the discord down below and last but not least follow me on twitter i post updates every night of what skills I've gotten, or levels rather, and also follow me on Twitch down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you guys have any requests for videos, and um, yeah, have a good one.